So, Mr. Bill Hader. Hey, man. So, talk about Barry. You play an assassin who gets in touch with his inner theater kid. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, I play a, an assassin. Uh, well, he's a, he's a former Marine who works kind of as a low rent hitman in the Midwest. And um, he's kind of unhappy, you know. He kind of knows what he does is wrong. He's very lonely. He has no. Because of his job, he can't have any friends. He, he has to be unknown, and he uh, ends up going to L.A. to kill a guy. And he he tr he follows that guy to his acting class in the Valley, run by Henry Winkler, and he decides to take the class and get in touch with himself, and um, through acting, kind of maybe access some emotion that'll help him. Right on. I, I read that this was kind of inspired by your own sort of experience with stage fright. A bit, yeah. Well, it was the idea that I was talking to Alec Berg, who I co-created the show with, and I just said, you know, I, I have, when I was on SNL, I had this ability to do voices and do impressions, and then the irony was that, you know, if you can do that, the place that you want to be is Saturday Night Live. That's the pinnacle, and I got that job. And then I, I had really bad stage fright. <clears throat> and so it was this thing where it would actually was not just mentally, but physically, uh, just like we were saying, destroying me, you know, it was just getting sick and having migraine and all these things. And so um, he went, oh, that's interesting. The thing that you're good at uh, destroys you, but the thing you want to do and the thing you want to do, you're you're not good at, you know? What if you wanted to do the thing that you're not good at? And then um, we just we said, oh, it should, it should be something that has stakes to it, and the biggest stakes are life and death, so we, we landed on a hitman. Right on. And so, like, going through that process, do you have, what, what's your best getting over stage fright advice? Well, I, when I did Transcendental Meditation, I still do that, that kind of helps. I read a lot, just getting, it's kind of distracting yourself is really helpful. It's called anticipatory anxiety. A lot of people have it, but I just, I get it really awful where it's the lead up to a thing is awful. And then once it's going, I start to relax a bit, you know? It's just the lead up is hard for me. Um, and then sometimes you just have to identify what it is that you're afraid of and say, you, you know, you, you go, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Change what if to so what? You know, it's like, what if I don't get that job? So what? You don't get the job. Yeah. Well, you're just, what, what, you, you'll go get another job or this will happen or what? You know, you, it, it kind of gives you a nice perspective on it, just that little trick, you know. Who would win in a battle between assassins and theater kids? Oh, well, the assassins, because they would have guns. <laughs> yeah, but theater kids have charm. So, yeah, theater kids have charm. They charm their way. Yeah, that's true. And they, they're probably good looking and, yeah. But uh, well, probably the assassins because they just shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> Working with Henry Winkler, Fonz, what was that like? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. You know, he read for the show, which was crazy for us because we just went, oh, we'll just offer it to Henry Winkler. And they said, no, he'll come in and read. And we went, wow. And so Alec and I were in an audition with him, and we were more nervous than he was, you know, kind of going, oh, well, you don't have to do it again. You, I mean, wh whatever you want. That was great. And that's just, a lot of nervous laughter and I you know when I get nervous I talk a lot I just I can't shut up I just keep talking and I was just and you what you did was just so great and you're, and you're just such an icon and you're just, you know and and you could tell you like, oh thank you thank you like he's so uh you know he's such a sweetheart